and welcome to your Monday lunch break. I'm Tanya Rivero. Michael Sam becomes the first openly gay player drafted in NFL history. The SEC defensive star, a seventh round pick for the St. Louis Rams, would play in the state where he was a college star if he actually makes the team. This, of course, comes on the heels of the Brooklyn Nets signing openly gay center Jason Collins. WSJ sports reporter Rachel Bachman is here to discuss. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. So what do we know beyond Sam's recent retweeting of his boyfriend's tweet showing the two of them kissing? What has the response been to that? Well, I think people knew that Michael Sam was gay. He came out a couple of months ago, and thus becoming the first um, openly gay uh, college player and soon to be NFL player. Um, the big talk today and yesterday is about the kiss. Right. You know, after he got the call that he was drafted, he kissed his boyfriend, and um, this is a huge cultural moment. You know, this is a very male audience for the NFL draft, and I think a lot of people were a little startled to see that. It was a big moment in the and NFL. And Dolphins player Don Jones has now been fined for tweeting something in response to that picture, hasn't he? He has. And, and the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell have made clear that Michael Sam would be welcomed and um, that he should be accepted for who, who he is mm -hmm. and that he should not be given grief for for being honest about his sexual orientation. And as you said, NFL Commissioner Goodell has come out recently, especially in wake of the Miami Dolphins bullying scandal, right. saying that this league is ready for an openly gay player. Do you think it actually is? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. I think that it, people were ready in the abstract, I think. They kind of got used to the idea that there would be an openly gay player. Mm -hmm. I think that the kiss was significant because, you know, although we've seen other gay kisses on television, generally they've been in um, fictional settings, you know, with soap operas or sitcoms or things like that. This, I think, was quite a surprise. And a lot of people, this is probably the first time they've seen two men kiss ever. So right. to see it during the NFL draft is um, a big cultural moment. And has Rams coach Jeff Fisher made any comment yet about the media circus that is sure to follow his pick? He, he's been very steadfastly supportive mm -hmm. of Michael Sam, and I think you'll see that going forward. Um, this, is, this is where he played in college, the same state, and so I think the Rams are anticipating he'll get widespread support, especially from the hometown fans. Right. Of course, he was a seventh-round pick. We don't know if he will make the team yet, but we're hopeful, right. and uh, it would be exciting to see him out there. Yeah. All right, Rachel Bachman, thank you so much for that.